welcome in this video I'm going to show uh, another button of my add in which is delete rows by keyword say for example in this report you notice that we have these headings repeated all over the place okay repeated so we don't want to show this again also we don't want to repeat this as well as this but uh, we don't want to do delete this manually so in order to do this uh, in button click what you need to do is click here delete rows by keywords and it will ask if you have saved a copy of your file because once you run this you cannot undo uh, your delete so I have created a copy of this so I say yes copy and paste the text to find so we want to our keyword is item so I'll click I mean type item or I can actually copy and paste into here okay then okay insert row number to start if we start from one it will actually delete the top heading as well we don't want to do that so we want to start from 14 or 13 in this case I put 14 then it will ask for the column number to start because this item the keyword stays at B which is column number 2 we say 2 then click OK and this is very important uh, it will ask you the adjacent rows to delete if we keep it 0 it will only delete the item row which is 14 28 etc but we want to delete 14 15 and 16 so we will say adjacent two more rows this plus two more adjacent rows we want to do it now click OK and you see it's done it's too fast you see we have only top header and all our headers are gone okay so it is there because uh, I think it is out of range but we can fix that it's not a big deal now you notice that we have some deletes I mean uh, empty rows here we want to uh, delete them as well okay in order to do that now we will click delete rows it will ask the same question again I would say yes the start row number will be 4 and column number in this case it will be uh, 1 or anything now look at this You see now there is there is not any blank rows that were before just ignore uh, this table it is out of range so okay so uh, now uh, look at this if we want to print this it is in a vertical alignment and there is no uh, path of the file nor any page number shown in here uh, to do that uh, it will again take some manual work so uh, in one click we can do it from here if you just click select any current cell and click print setup and it will do the task for you okay so now if you go for the print view you notice that it is now horizontally aligned it has the file name it has the page number this uh, file and source code and this add-in will be available at www.soyatkolu.com uh, you just need to drop me an email and I promise I will send everything that I have promised for free. Thanks for watching.